So I have been on the hunt for the best email app out there for uh, at least the better part of a year now. I've made a couple of videos about uh, what I thought was the best email client out there, uh, something called Google Inbox. Um, I've used Apple Mail, I've used Gmail, I've used Proton Mail, Cloud Match, you name it, I've used it. Uh, and honestly, what I've ended up doing is just switching email apps every couple of months now. Um, well, more like every couple of weeks. But recently, someone recommended to me that I check out uh, just Outlook, which uh, kind of threw me off for a second. I mean, Outlook is what I grew up using, but I stopped using it a long time ago just because, I mean, everything else was easier. But I did go ahead and download Outlook, uh, as you can see here, on my dock. I downloaded it on uh, my Mac uh, and uh, on my uh, phone, and I, I don't really know why, um, because it never really stopped being a good email client. It was just easier to use other things, but I, I mean, I'm prepared to say it's the best iOS email client out there, definitely. I mean, when, when you move over to a desktop, things get a little bit more complicated, so I don't know that I'm confident enough to say that it's the best, you know, uh, Mac app out there. Perhaps a full review is something we can do later. What's important now is that while Outlook is, is very good, and make no mistake, it, it is a very good, app it's kind of hard to get things set up um i guess this is part of the reason why i stopped using it in the first place it's it's a great app don't get me wrong but it's been around for forever and i guess microsoft just doesn't know about things like two-factor verification when you compare this to something like the apple ios built-in mail client it just seems like a ridiculous hassle setting up outlook uh but it doesn't have to be just did want to point this out. I use uh, uh, the Microsoft Exchange email service to host like my uh, my work email, and this was like a super simple email to set up with Outlook. I just signed in, uh, did like the two-factor um, you know confirm confirmation code, and there it was. But if I look at something like my iCloud email address or my personal Gmail account, quite a bit more complicated. But you know, that's what that's, this video is about. So let's go ahead and figure it out. Um, first of all, if you don't know how to add accounts to Outlook, it's pretty easy. You just click this home button up here uh, and there is then a option to go and view all of your accounts. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and remove both my Gmail and my Apple uh, or my iCloud email account. So if I come over here, add a new account, you see I have the option to add an exchange email or an outlook.com email because who would be using anything else well, me. And I'm assuming everyone watching this video, of course. Why else would you have clicked on it? So I'm just gonna try to set up my uh, iCloud email really quickly here. Type in the email address. I'll type in the password here. And click add account. It's gonna stay yellow for a second. And then I'm going to get an authentication failed message. And no matter how many times I re-enter my account details, whether I do it on the phone, whether I do it on the desktop, I'm gonna keep getting this message, authentication failed, we can't log in, no, 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 it's a whole hassle. And the reason for this is because, like I said, Outlook does not play nice with two-factor verification, of course, given the caveat that if you do use their email service, somehow things just work beautifully. Um, but if you're using Apple two-factor verification, Gmail two-factor verification, whatever it is, yeah, you're, you're screwed. So let's uh, go ahead and fix this. It's going to be annoying, but it's not too crazy to fix. So what you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove this uh, iCloud account, and I'm going to go to iCloud. Dot com. Let me just go ahead and full screen this one. And then once you get here, you want to go ahead and sign in with your uh, iCloud email. Let's see here. And now what you want to go ahead and do is uh, just come up here to your like profile and click on iCloud settings. And that's just going to take us to a new page. And all we want to do from here is come to where it says Apple ID, click manage. It's going to open up a new link. It's going to take us to uh, actually a whole nother website uh, where you can then sign in again. Yay. Uh, so put in your password again. Again, try really hard not to tweet this. And uh, then you're just going to confirm uh, your identity, you know, using whatever method you usually use. I just, uh, 
I'm using my iPhone here. And now once you're in here, uh, you have access to basically all your security and password settings. And what we need to do is create what's called an app specific password. And basically the idea behind this is that for older apps <laughs> and apparently newer apps that just happen to function the way that Outlook does, um, the whole two factor verification system is gonna throw things off. Um, some apps are not designed to handle put in a password and then put in an additional two-factor code. And so pretty much every two-factor account you have is going to give you the option to generate what is called an app-specific password. And then if I generate this password, what I can do now is uh, basically have an additional password. And what this is going to allow me to do is to go ahead and sign into my iCloud account using this password that's created specifically for this app. Okay, so you're gonna log in again, paste in that password and hit add account. The cool thing is now, if I go ahead and come back into Outlook, you'll see, ha, huh, my uh, Apple email is now hooked up. Just got that email about the app specific password being created. It is downloading all of my past emails right here. Uh, and there it is, it's hooked up. So uh, what I'll go ahead and do is we'll also just add my uh, Gmail account. Same issue, if I try to log in, I'm gonna get the same issues of, oh my God, we can't hook it up, whatever. So what you wanna do is just go to like google.com and uh, then click on your head up here and just go to uh, my account. And then underneath here, sign in security settings. And if you scroll down, we will also have an option, an option to create app passwords. And uh, it's going to ask us to sign in again once we make that request again. You just wanna verify your identity. You can never put in your password too many times. And you can see I already have one app password set up. That's how it was working earlier uh, in the video. I'm gonna go ahead and revoke access to this password. And then I will just go ahead and create a new uh, app password here. So click generate. Same type of system, it's gonna pop up a new password here and copy and paste that. And let me go ahead and set this up. It's yellow, just turned green, I think. Okay, and so now uh, all of our emails are set up. I'm not really sure why the two-factor verification is an issue um, with Outlook, but it is. So uh, if you were getting hung, having an issue, um, you know, I wouldn't want to stop you from using um, Microsoft Outlook because it turns out it actually is a really good uh, email client even today. So, I mean, it's a great email client. I would recommend it. Like I said, best iOS mail client out there, um, but it's a bit of a hassle to uh, get things set up. Anyways, uh, if you did like this video, feel free to like below. You know, it just makes perfect sense. If you're looking for something else interesting to watch, I've got a channel full of stuff. None of that's too good though. What I want you to do is I want, to, want you to go to my website, maxi.co, and I want you to Scroll down to the bottom of the page, find like the bug report page I have set up and just leave like a funny message. I don't get enough weird emails. And uh, you know, now that I've got Outlook all set up, uh, I can handle a whole bunch of uh, hilarious bug reports. So uh, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time.